Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. General Hospital Weekly Spoilers, Sunny Faces New Challenges Meanwhile, someone may get a miracle while another takes a turn for the worst on GH. Check out the latest weekly spoilers for the ABC Sudzer. GH spoilers for this week confirm Sonny Corinthos Maurice Bennard reunites with Jason Morgan Steve Burden. However, it's not a happy reunion because Sonny believes Jason has turned against him. What s worse is that Sonny thinks Jason could be the reason his son, Dante Falconeri Dominic Zamprogna is fighting for his life. And that is something he will never forgive Jason for. But, eventually, Sonny will find out he is not to blame. Later, on General Hospital, he gets comfort from Ava Jerome Mora West. But that only complicates things even further because they later share a close moment. Sonny and Ava have been getting much closer lately. Indeed, that s going to cause serious problems for both of them when Nina Reeves' Cynthia Watros finds out. Then, Nina 1T take no for an answer. Later, Jason is arraigned and chaos ensues. Also, Carly Corinthos Spencer Laura Wright and Alexis Davis Nancy Lee Gran get a shock. Then, Carly frantically tries to get to Jason but Sam McCall Kelly Monaco gets to him first and they have a shocking reunion. After Sam confronts Jason on General Hospital, she finds reason to be hopeful. Then, Dante's mom. Olivia Falconeri Lisa Lo Cicero, rushes to his side. And right behind her are Rocco Falconeri Finn Francis Carr and Danny Morgan Asher and Tonizen. So, there is a good chance Dante will awaken from his coma this week. Later, Danny argues with his brother, Jake Weber Hudson West. Elsewhere, Anna Devane Fanola Hughes is in shock. Then, she makes a surprising offer to Dex Heller Evan Hofer on General Hospital. Additionally, she discovers something important. After that, her ex, Valentine Cassidy and James Patrick Stewart, sets something into motion. No doubt, he s helping Nina. Additional GH spoilers promise Gregory Chase s Gregory Harrison health problems intensify and his ALS symptoms become more noticeable. Later, his soon-to-be daughter-in-law, Brooklyn Cordemain Amanda Seton, delivers a message. Elsewhere, Curtis Ashford Donald Turner becomes suspicious of someone. Then, his daughter, Trina Robinson Tabiana Alley, admits something heartbreaking. GH is explosive right now. Don't miss it to see how Sonny Corinthos handles Jason S. return on the ABC daytime drama. Get all the latest General Hospital spoilers and updates daily from Soap Dirt. In the heart of Port Charles, where secrets swirl like eddies in a restless river, General Hospital stood as a bastion of hope and healing. But even within its walls, turmoil brewed and no one felt it more keenly than Sunny Corinthos. The morning sun cast long shadows through the windows of Sunny's office, where he sat with furrowed brows the weight of the world etched into the lines of his face. The past weeks had been a whirlwind of uncertainty, each day bringing new challenges to test his resolve. As the dawn broke, Sonny found himself grappling with a decision that could alter the course of his life forever. The memory of his beloved wife, Carly, lingered like a beacon in his mind, guiding him through the storm of doubt and fear. Outside the hospital, the city buzzed with whispers of intrigue and betrayal. Rumors swirled like autumn leaves, casting doubt upon even the most steadfast alliances. In the midst of it all, Sonny stood as a pillar of strength, his determination unwavering in the face of adversity. But even the strongest of men have their limits, and Sonny's resolve was put to the test as he faced a foe unlike any he had encountered before. A shadow loomed over Port Charles casting a pall of darkness that threatened to engulf everything in its path. In the corridors of General Hospital, tensions ran high as whispers of scandal rippled through the halls. Sunny's trusted allies rallied to his side, 
their loyalty unwavering in the face of uncertainty. But even they could not shield him from the storm that raged outside. As the days turned into weeks, Sonny found himself locked in a battle for the soul of Port Charles. Forces beyond his control conspired against him, their machinations weaving a tangled web of deceit and betrayal. But Sonny was no stranger to adversity, and with each challenge he faced, his determination only grew stronger. He knew that the path ahead would be fraught with peril, but he refused to back down in the face of adversity. In the quiet moments before dawn, Sonny found solace in the arms of his family. His children, Michael and Christina, stood by his side, their unwavering support a beacon of hope in the darkness. But even amidst the chaos, moments of light shone through like stars in the night sky. Love blossomed in unexpected places, binding hearts together in a tapestry of hope and redemption. In the halls of General Hospital, miracles unfolded with each passing day. Lives were saved, and hope was restored to those who had lost their way. And through it all, Sonny stood as a guiding light, his strength and courage inspiring all who crossed his path. As the weeks turned into months, the storm that had once threatened to engulf Port Charles began to wane. The shadows that had loomed over the city lifted, replaced by the warm glow of a new dawn. And through it all, Sonny Corinthos stood tall, his spirit unbroken by the trials he had faced. For in the heart of darkness, he had found the strength to endure, emerging stronger and more determined than ever before. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows across the city, Sonny knew that his journey was far from over, but with his family by his side and hope in his heart, he was ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. For in the end, it was not the storms of life that defined him, but the strength with which he weathered them. G.H. Spoilers Wednesday, March 27, Anna S. Deal, Jake and Danny S. Fight, Sam Confronts Jason. General Hospital G.H. Spoilers and Updates for Wednesday, March 27, Tease Deals, Fights, and Confrontations. Anna Devane Fanola Hughes proposes a deal. Jake Weber Hudson West and Danny Morgan Asher and Tonazan fight, and Sam McCall Kelly Monaco confronts Jason Morgan Steve Burden. It looks like sisters Molly Lansing Davis Kristen Vaganos and Christina Corinthos Davis Kate Mansi are in a little bit of an argument. Molly certainly looks upset and it Christina tells her she has to check her feelings at the door. There's a fair amount of stress in the family with Christina's half-brother Dante Falconeri Dominic Zamprogna still in the hospital, and Molly the assistant district attorney. Jason's arraignment is coming up and perhaps Molly is having difficulty being fair and impartial since the situation is so involved. One would think their mother Alexis Davis Nancy Lee Gran would be the one to advise Molly. The situation between Jocelyn Jacks Eden McCoy and Trina Robinson to be in a alley is a lot less tense than it was when they were in Bobby S. Jocelyn tries to encourage her heartbroken friend, and compassionately tells her she s going to find her way back. It's not that Joss doesn't understand what it's like for a boyfriend to die, although she was a lot younger when she was involved with Oscar Nero Garen Lakes did. In fact, she was with Oscar when he died although she d fallen asleep while reading a book but with him, there was some warning. He had a brain tumor, while Spencer Cassidine s Nicholas Alexander Chavez's death was sudden. In the police commissioner's office, Anna is talking to Dex Heller Evan Hofer and proposes a deal to him. Dex asks where does that leave him, but Anna just found out something he can help her with. Jason and Dex were both military contractors working as mercenaries it sounds like she's getting him involved in Jason's case. He may have contacts they can use to find out who the boss who is called Stone really is, since Dex had done some negotiating with Pikeman. Anna wants to help Jason but she's probably having Dex investigate John Jagger Kate's Adam Harrington as well how he's gone about things is highly irregular. In the PCPD questioning room, it's likely Jason that Diane Miller Carolyn Hennessy is talking to, 
looking slightly frustrated. She asks him to give her something she can use to defend him at his upcoming arraignment. It's the next day and she doesn't have a whole lot of time to prepare a defense. Jason admittedly is between a rock and a hard place, his FBI cover blown to smithereens. Back in Anna's office, she's probably still talking to Dex as she says it's more than fine she d say it's a bonus. Perhaps Dex is talking to her about the not so squeaky clean things he's done, especially before he came to Port Charles. What Dex did for Michael Corinthos Chad Duel and Jason has been doing for Jagger are very similar. Dex was to infiltrate Sonny's organization to take him down and report to the feds. Jason was doing the same thing with Pikeman Security Group. It looks like Jake and Danny may be outside their grandmother Alexis' house as they get into a fist fight. Jake is obviously talking about Dante as he cries out he didn't he deserve it, that's why. It's also obvious that he told Danny he's convinced their father Jason shot Dante, because Danny slugs him in the jaw and apparently off his feet. Someone's going to have to step in between the two teenagers and separate them, before someone gets hurt preferably someone bigger like Drew Kane Cameron Matheson or Yuri Cyrus Habai. Meanwhile, as Jason's sons fight over him, his ex-wife fights with him at the PCPD as she confronts him. Sam is in tears, yelling at Jason, Tell, you know that I'm right about all of it. Sam has been an emotional wreck between Dante being shot and finding out Jason is alive and accused of shooting him. No one understands why Jason didn't he contact anyone to let them know he was alive, but this makes even less sense to those not in the know. Only Dante can exonerate Jason, and he still hasn't he woken up.